Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many Slack users encounter while working with the Slack API. Our viewer is trying to send a channel-wide channel message at a specific time using Slack's incoming webhooks. They've set up their webhook and have the code ready, but they're facing a challenge. When they attempt to notify everyone in the channel using at channel, it appears as plain text instead of a clickable mention. Let's dive into the details and see how we can solve this issue together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To send a channel-wide message in Slack using incoming webhooks, we need to format our message correctly. First, let's look at the code you have. The issue arises when you try to use at channel directly in your message. Instead, you should use the channel ID format to notify everyone. To ensure that your message notifies all members, make sure to set the link names parameter to one. This allows Slack to recognize and link mentions correctly. Finally, remember that your channel notification preferences should remain unchanged. This means you will still receive notifications only for mentions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're using Slack incoming webhooks with blocks, remember to place the channel mention, like channel, in the block content instead of the text content. This is important because the text key appears in notifications without formatting, while blocks allow for better formatting options. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To send a message to a Slack channel using incoming webhooks, you can use the chat.schedule message method. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To send a message to a specific user in Slack using incoming webhooks, you can set link names to true in your payload. This allows you to mention users directly. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped find that solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.